I do realize I'm streaming in the middle of the workday, and I appreciate you being even partially here. It's very appreciated. So. So this is a game where sometimes I will move around the camera a little, but for now I think it will be fine in this corner. So, all right, let's get to it. Whew! So I have a week to get back up to eighty thousand picks to pay off my next uh, week's store debt. Whew! I'm starting at 1,000, so that'll be exciting. But I should also be getting access to fancier items and more modes of selling. So, who could you talk to here? How do I do that? Come back. Hi. There we go. Outstanding orders. So, there's a potential new adventurer friend who I just need to get some ingredients for that look like they are. Uh, Stuff that probably drops from major bosses, just because the slime liver definitely. So, these are my advance orders where I have to acquire things sometimes on a deadline, sometimes not, and then people will buy them when they come in. Um, so, the Merchant's Guild Guildmaster has asked me for two pieces of armor, which remains. Oh, I think I saw you start this game forever ago, lol. Yes, yes, I did. I. This was the first game I actually ever streamed. I technically started back started streaming back in May and I streamed once in May once in June I think maybe July and then sort of dropped it for a while and then like came back uh, like a month ago and was like yeah all right I'm gonna like really try to do streaming now so like May was like me just sort of dipping my toes in unfortunately I lost the video for the very first uh, stream that I did so I've been posting the videos since then, but on my YouTube channel, but the very, very first run of me playing Reseteer is lost to time. Anyhow, so I think it'll be a while before I can fill the order for the fancy items that are maybe boss drops for the Kylo. Kailu, yeah, Kailu, who is an adventurer who I could potentially eventually recruit. Uh, but at some, I'll need to remember at some point tomorrow to have my store open so I can do the two pieces of armor. Oh, oops. I always forget the. I say this every single time I stream this. Aw, oh, sad face. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Losing, losing that video did make me sad. I thought I was recording it, but I was not. And since I didn't realize that I wasn't recording that video, I didn't think to export it from Twitch until I also didn't have the YouTube channel yet at the time, so. Alas, I have learned since then, uh, so I shall should not run into the problem of using any of my videos again. Uh, right. And I say this every single time I stream. But if I ever seem like I'm like hesitating and try or like pressing wrong buttons, it's it's just Reseteer is a, clearly designed more with a controller in mind, and so the keys that it uses, uh, the key bindings, are, are very unusual. And I know I could probably change the key bindings, but like... I think they're fine the way they are, I just need to remember what that. they are. Ooh, there are two potential events. I'm gonna check them both out. I feel like this will be the first time I've seen an event in the chapel, so let's start with that one. Here we are in the in the chapel again. <laughs> Here we are in the chapel again, she says, when I know for- when I- well, okay, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've ever actually gone to the chapel in this run. How come you put them to YouTube? I have a channel that I never put anything there. Um, basically, I mean, especially since I'm not an affiliate, like, Twitch will theoretically- Sorry. Sorry if I interrupt in the middle of sentences to, to take drinks. I have a little bit of a... 
I wouldn't say, like, I'm not really sick, but, like, a little bit of sinusiness, and so just regular, I will be drinking even more than normal. Um, right. How come I never put in, or how come I do put, yes. So, YouTube, I started, uh, so Twitch will delete your videos, theoretically, if you're not an affiliate after 14 days, although... I find that that's not always true, so I don't know what the actual logic is behind when Twitch deletes videos. Uh, yes, right? Hydration is super important. Um, but basically, I want my videos, especially because, so, Reseteer has a little bit of a story, so, and, like, I'm also, the, one of the other games I'm streaming, Cinderella Phenomenon, is heavily story-based. So if people want to be able to follow the story from the beginning, I really want them to be able to watch the old streams. Um, and I can't trust that Twitch will keep them up, so I made up a, made a YouTube channel and all of my VODs. I, maybe someday I will like either explore the concept of video editing or the concept of like hiring a video editor to make like highlight videos or like take games that I've streamed and condense the stream into like more like I mean I say more interesting to watch but basically just like condense my vods so you so that they are a little easier to to watch on YouTube but for now I don't particularly like my main goal in uploading videos to YouTube is so that people can watch my old streams um and it's not really so YouTube is not a primary Right? The web says 14 days for Twitch, but that doesn't actually align with reality. That's also been my experience, but it definitely does delete videos eventually. So if I want people to be able to watch, go back and watch old streaming, like, uh, previous parts of a game that I'm streaming, then the more reliable way to do that is to post them to YouTube. And since I'm not... So I'm just using YouTube basically as a repository for my VODs, uh, and, you know, maybe, like I said, maybe someday I'll start using it for other types of videos, but for now it's, uh, I consider, like, my Twitch channel to be sort of my main thing that I'm doing. Uh, Amazon Prime? Oh! Oh, that explains so much! If you have Amazon Prime, Twitch will keep your videos for 60 days. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, because yeah, I do have Prime, and so... Alright, well that that's good to know, so I've got, like, a good two months before Twitch will delete my videos, but... Even so, like, like Cinderella Phenomenon is a visual novel, and it's also an Otome dating sim game, so it's gonna have- so I'm gonna follow, play through each route, and so I anticipate that'll be a really long playthrough, so, like, it's definitely gonna go past 60 days, which means that at some point the old videos will disappear, and I still just want people to be able to access them. So yeah. So, in summary, my YouTube channel, like, I mean, I still would appreciate if, if people want to, like, go subscribe there. Like, I sure would not complain if I was able to, like, make the YouTube channel something as well, but it's, uh, the Twitch channel and the active, the live streaming is my main focus, um, and the YouTube channel is just video storage for the most part. Although I say that, there's actually one person who's been watching my Cinderella Phenomenon playthrough on YouTube and has been, like, like doing tons of comments on all the videos I've posted, and I've really enjoyed interacting with that person, so it's also just another place to kind of get exposure, so. But I think it's especially handy since I am playing story-based games where, like, to, to have the videos that you can go back to. Uh, gotcha was curious. Yep, no problem. I am always happy to answer questions and try to always keep an eye on, on chat so I can. Um, Alright. Back to this game and back to the chapel cut screen. So Reset says, When I was little, I used to come here a lot, actually. Tear. Uh, really? I must admit, you do not strike me as the pious type. Reset. When you came to the chapel, you'd get a stamp on a little card. And with enough stamps, you'd get a piece of candy. Tear. So your primary motivation was the candy, not the faith. <laughs> Reset. A uh, yep! Tear. Sigh. Mount. My previous judgment hit the sweet spot. It seems... Oh, come on, Tear. That was it. 
That was not even a good pun. That's fine. It was probably a better one. And, like, this... I'm pretty sure this game... Well, no, I'm quite sure this game was originally in Japanese. So maybe it was a better pun the first time around. Or in the original language. Um, oh, yeah, no no, no worries. Uh, toss me those games. Yeah, I will send you the games that we talked about before. Um, I will try to remember to do that after this stream. Uh, and don't worry about bugging me. Like I, like I said, I, I actually really like interacting with people through the chat. So, like... Definitely, anytime you want to like comment or anything, just absolutely feel free. I sometimes I'll be like, when I'm focused on a game, it might take me like a minute or two to notice if there's a question in chat or something. But I I get excited about answering that kind of thing or like about seeing that kind of thing and answering. So I do not consider it to be bugging me to pester to do chat pestering. So. Well, I mean, that's the whole point. It's not pastoring, but like to to chat me things and ask me questions in chat is is not a thing that I find to be a bother. So no worries on that. I will at some point like pause to go back to the game, but in general, it's just that I'm happy to break to respond to questions and stuff. All right, let's check out the town square special event. Here, what the? How peculiar, there is something shining in the fountain basin. Reset. Oh yeah, the coins in the fountain. Wow, there's a lot now. Uh -huh. Tear. Coins? Why are there coins in a public water display? Reset. You've never had the urge to toss a coin into a fountain and make a wish? Just looking at the fountain kind of makes me want to. Tear. Silence. Dot dot dot. Can I make the natural assumption that you have been so abysmally foolish in the past as to actually throw perfectly valid money into this fountain? <laughs> Reset. <laughs> well, maybe once. Or twice. Or thrice. Reset. Ah, oh, I haven't done it in forever, though. Really? Dear. I certainly hope not. Alright, so in my opinion, there is... Uh, totally harmless to throw coins into a, a public fountain that is, as long as you're using small coins. Like, I do agree with Tyr that it would be a bit of a waste if you're throwing too much of your money, but if you're just tossing, like, a penny into the fountain, that's fine. I am also on a delay lull, but also I totally am with the character who did the chapel for candy lull. Yes! <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I gotta admit. I mean, especially because, like, Reset's still fairly young, and she was talking about going to the chapel when she was even younger, like, even if you do, like, grow up to be more faithful, like, kids aren't gonna get that sort of thing. They're just gonna be excited for candy. And honestly, in a lot of ways, that's- if you do want the kids to come to church, that's kind of a clever way to do it. So. Alright, uh... Also stick to fountains and not, like, natural waterfalls. Oh, yes, 100%. Uh... If you're gonna throw coins in public water displays, make sure they're, like, artificial water displays, like fountains and stuff. Do not throw into natural water. Do not throw money into natural water. That is so bad. It's gonna be icky and make the water gross. And it's fine if it's, like, a public fountain or something because they, like, they're doing- they're, they're pumping through that water and they're, like, cleaning that water, but, like, and it's not going into the, like, ecosystem as much. Uh, but yeah, nah, 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 but also, yeah, so, coins and fountains, okay, but only if, like, you know, artificial fountains, yeah. Okay, so while I'm out in town, I was thinking of going on an adventure, which at this point would be, so I've already kind of committed to morning in town, which means it would be late morning and... Or rather, it would be afternoon and early evening. I can't remember what the official term is. So there's morning, and there's night, and there's... Maybe it's morning, afternoon, evening, night? Yeah, that's what I think it is. So I'm thinking of going on another adventure. Um, but I am going to check the shops before I go, because otherwise I... Because I have already spent the morning anyway. Do -do -do. Some, uh, I can't remember what it is that is pri the, the price is up on. I, uh, it's hard to remember the little news flashes. Oh, uh... Oh, that's 
that's nice. Uh, often it also it gets gathered and goes to maintain the park slash fountain. So like when you throw coins in the fountain, I like that actually. Like so people get to do their little flip their coin in the fountain and make their little wish, and and then like all the coins in the fountain just occasionally get scooped up by by the people and then goes to the fountain maintenance. I like that. That's just a good uh hmm symbiotic. I guess relationship. It's it's a it's a good system. I like it. All right. Uh, I think I have already gone through and made sure that I have um like one of each type of item, and I'm also going to be going adventuring soon. <laughs> Uh, I'm tempted to get rings, but they're still very expensive, and I don't feel like I'm at a point where they are reasonable to buy. Uh, da -da. I think I've got enough food to get by on one dungeon run. At some point I want to buy more, like, flooring and wallpaper, but not right now when I barely can afford it, so... <laughs> Yeah, alright, so I don't think there's really anything useful for me to pick up at the market. Let's check the Merchant's Guild, which... So this guy is gonna be coming in tomorrow to buy two pieces of armor, and... Like I said this last time, but I'm, I'm gonna just buy that armor from him. And yeah, looks like I'm already good to go on that. I've got plenty of armor. Alright, well I definitely don't want to buy anything where the price is up. Maybe it's like accessories that the price is up on? Ah, I think I already yeah, picked up shields while it was good to pick them up. Um, no, not while it's expensive. Um, right, do I have a steel sword? I do, so that'll be good because I still only have Louis as an adventurer. So, I want to be able to equip him with good stuff. So, all right, and I think I have one of yes. All right, so I know I'm here and I'm like glancing through the stuff, but in fact there's like not much of use here. <laughs> Maybe I'll just buy an extra shield while the price is down. Theoretically, I can turn around and sell it at a higher price later, and that'll be convenient. Okay, was there anything? I think I was collecting the fur balls because there was something that I was going to be able to do as soon as I had enough fur balls. But I don't remember what- and I'm also vaguely collecting insect traps, so just for- to remember what I'm going to set out doing. Alright, so... Uh, let's see. Looking down- yeah, alright. So I think the most important stuff to make sure I bring to equip for Louis is the better sword. Still sad that one time he came in to buy a sword, which is the point at which adventurers will equip things is when you sell them things. And I'm I like didn't have the nicer sword and I like I managed to give him like a plus two sword, but it's not like a plus two worn sword. It's not the same. That might actually be nicer than what he's wearing. Although I wish you would tell me. Yeah, so he's got the... Alright, so I definitely need the sword, and I definitely want the chest plate. And I think maybe I'll just call that good, because I don't have a thorough understanding of the rest, how the rest of his equipment works. So. And I don't want to take up too much of my very precious dungeon inventory space, so let's stick with that. And alright, so I've done... I don't want to do Hall of Trials again, that's pretty silly, but uh, I've done the first two sets. Um, I can try the bottom floor of Jade Way. Um, if it feels like I'm not really equipped or leveled enough to complete it, that'll be fine. I mean, it'll be... I will do my best and see how it goes. I do still look forward to eventually hiring more adventures. Like, I don't like to look too much stuff up for, for any, without any amount of story stuff because I don't want to go myself. But Rest of Tears' story is sort of a 
slow background element of the game, I feel like. There's there's not like story progression is is very slow and also since the story is not the main oh that's not good. Uh there we go. Just gonna get that guy from behind. Uh since the story is certainly not the main point of this game, like there are fewer spoiler or er, I feel like it is less likely that I will get, like, spoiled in such a way that I'll be like, oh man, that was such a in big, interesting plot point. Uh, there are a couple things that are might be like that, but I'm... So yeah, I'm not gonna sit down and, like, look up the entire plot of the game, but I decided I wasn't gonna, like, avoid the wiki for fear of any potential spoiler. Um, and that is all to say... I want to recruit more adventurers, and I could not, and although I've played this game before, I never completed it, so, and it's been a while, so I didn't remember how to, um, how to recruit other adventurers, and so I thought maybe if I looked it up, there would be, uh, instructions that were just to recruit the adventurers without, like, spoiling anything about, like, their personal lives or stories or anything. And it turns out, all that to say, I was totally right. Um, though recruiting adventurers is a slow process. I believe the easiest one to get next will be uh, the thief girl and, well, the thief girl and the spear girl. I forget that I actually want to go to Oh man, I don't like this little eyeball thing with ranged attacks. You know what I just realized I forgot to bring was healing items? <sighs> Alas. Um, right, so I... To finish my thought, because it is... Double focusing is definitely a factor here. Um... No, I lost my thought. Ah, uh, brain, why do you work this way? Adventures, yes. So I'm gonna be trying to aim to recruit Thief Girl and Spear Girl in a soonish fashion and have a, at least a basic idea on how to do that. So. Yeah. Let me see if I've picked up. I haven't really been paying attention to what I've been picking up. Uh, let me see if maybe any of this stuff that would be healing. Uh, maybe the chestnut? Oh, that's not usable. I was thinking about equipping. Let's see if that's worth equipping. Um, no. I guess the rain coat is not actually equipable. All right, well, that was a no-go, uh, but I could try the chestnut and see if that's actually a shooting item. <laughs> no, the chestnut is not usable. It was kind of like a food item, so I thought it was worth checking, but oh gosh. I guess I just gotta be a little more careful. I did figure that this would be a little more difficult than some of my previous dungeon runs. Yeah. Right, so I do want to hire more adventurers, mostly just so I have more options. Like, Louis is fine, like, nothing against Louis, but I want to, like, try out some of the other adventurers' attack styles, like, uh, weapon styles and stuff. And I would really like to get someone who's got long range stuff more so. I mean, like, technically, Louie does have a long range attack. Uh, and to be fair, it's also, like, be interesting to level him up and see if there's anything more. But, like, he does have, like, a little blast that he can shoot from his sword that goes some distance. So. Ah, not these guys. And when I say not these guys, it just. They're they are a new enemy. This is the first time I've seen them. And they are tricksy. With the whole gotta make sure you're fighting them from the side or from the 
least there's plenty of the, like, slightly yeah. lower level, yeah. Yeah. level enemies as well. At this point, I'm thinking I want to just try leveling, because... Mm, Louis' health is low, and I worry that if I keep going, the higher floors will have like, a scary monsters that will do more damage. Also, if I'm gonna, like, fail on the first floor, then best to know that rather than... Well, okay. Nah, if I... So, let me rephrase that. If I'm going to not quite be able to beat this set of the dungeon, I feel like better to find out earlier. Although it really would have helped if I bought any kind of health items. Tisk tisk. It's actually kind of tempting to just see if I can run away now, but... Basically, my concern is when you do have to run away, like your adventurer gets knocked out, you can only take one item with you, and the further I progress, the more items I'll collect, and the more sad it will be if I yeah. fail to break, yeah. I have to like get rid of all of those items. Yes! Yes! Alright, did it! Alright. Louis has successfully leveled and restored all health. Time to continue on and try to be a little more careful. <laughs> I'm a little... I'm a little weak at this kind of, like, little monsters type of play. I like it better, I've said this before, I, I like being able to sort of have the monsters move in, in, in real time and attack them in real time yeah. better than the yeah. typical JRPG. Yeah. Alright, and now we're gonna go to it. Wait, escape that one. Uh, we're, now we're gonna go to the cut screen where we do the battle sequence just because I find those to be. Um, I mean, I play games that have those, but like, they take a long time and. Like, I mean, it makes sense in this, in Reseteer, because Reseteer, the real point of this game is you are running a shop. The adventure, the, the dungeon adventurers are sort of a thing that you do to get stuff to sell more than the point of the game, so. It would be quite excessive to have fight screens. There's a term for it, but I, for some reason, it's just not coming to me. Like the, um, it's not fight screen. It's like the cut screen for the fights. Yeah. But anyway, it's not actually terrible. For it. You know what I just realized? I, I, I wonder if there's some way that I could be using the shield. For the time. Cause I definitely struggle with projectile enemies, but I just realized like. Louie does have a shield, I just don't know how to use it. Uh, yeah, alright. So I know what the basic three buttons do, but I wonder if I can look at control? No, of course I can't look at controls. Maybe I can't change the game controls. Oh no, the encyclopedia is just all the items I have. You know what? I'll look it up at another time. Oh, nice job at leveling up. Yes, thank you. Oh. That was... I was not doing too hot until I did level up. Uh, and things are looking much better now that my adventure as is at like 60 health. Oh, oops. It's okay, I can't accidentally attack friendly people, so... Alright. Uh, so this is a cut screen with the spear adventure girl who I'm hoping to recruit. Um, so, Reset says, Hiya again! Ada. Mysterious Adventure says, Oh my, welcome! Tear. Welcome? Wait, this cannot possibly be your home! Mysterious Adventure. Hmm? Oh my, no, this is not my home! Where am I exactly? Reset. Eh, heh <laughs> Here. This is really going from mildly amusing to deeply distressing. How is it possible to have so little spatial awareness? Mysterious adventure. 
I do seem to in run into the two of you often when I come this way. Do you by chance live here? Tear. Absolutely not. Reset. We actually run an item shop. Sometimes we go inside dungeons with adventurers, and then we sell what we find in our shop. Mysterious adventurer. Oh my, that sounds like a lot of fun. I would like to visit your so shop sometime. Reset. We'd love to have you stop by. Our place is on the top of the hill in town. <laughs> Mysterious person. The hill in town? Was there a hill? Reset. Uh, okay. You know the town market? Head straight to the square from there. Mysterious person. I see. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna find our shop anytime soon. For anyone who's not watched previous streams, like, this is a mysterious adventure, presumably adventurer girl who we have run into twice before, and she just gets... It's become clear that she gets lost extremely easily. And when I was looking up how to recruit adventurers, I think we just need to run into her four times, and that's basically all it takes, and then she starts coming to the shop, and then uh, once, uh, and then if we're able to befriend her as she starts coming to the shop, then we can get her adventuring card and go on adventures with her. Anyway, Reset desperately is still trying to give directions. And then, uh, you turn right. Mysterious person. I see? Reset. And then you just go up the stairs, remember? It isn't hard, really. Tear. I don't think I could explain this to her. Tear. I'm struggling to refrain from all comment. I almost feel like they are taking advantage of this adventure with Amnesia. I mean, I don't think so, because uh, they're just... Sorry, I'm trying to gather my thoughts, but yeah, so basically, uh, like, our party has, like, Reset and Tyr have just run into her coincidentally several times, and this is the third time it's happened, and so at that point, like, they've seen each other enough times to be like, oh yeah, hey, we run a store, you should come by sometime, and then, like, I don't think that that is taking advantage, because they're not asking her to do anything more than just come to the store and also they're trying very hard to explain the directions to her but she will not find the shop anytime terribly soon by which i mean i know how like the process works is that we will run into her one more time in a dungeon she will actually be actively looking for the shop and here and Reset will once again be surprised that she has managed to get herself lost in a dungeon area. Well, I mean, this would be like a forest full of monsters. And then after the fourth time we've run into her in a dungeon, she will ev eventually make her way to the shop. So. But yeah. Alright, so, mysterious person. Oh, don't worry. My sense of direction is excellent. Oh no. Oh, oh dear. It's, it is concerning that she thinks that. I think I can find your shop with no problems at all. <laughs> Reset. Who? What? But I... How? Tear. And this is why I refrain to attempt... Attempt to refrain from editorial comments. Mysterious person. That reminds me. I haven't yet asked your names, have I? Oh good, I can finally start using her name and a not mysterious person. Assuming she remembers to tell Reset and Tear... Her name. Reset. Oh, well, I'm Reset, and this is Tyr. Nagi! Alright, Nagi says, Is that so? I am called Nagi. I apologize for the late introduction. Reset, Tyr, it is a pleasure to meet you both. Reset. The pleasure's all ours. See you at the store! <laughs> oh no! And then I hit a chest, and it turns out the chest had a snowy trap. Oh wait, actually... The only reason I was exploring the entire floor before moving on, I mean, other than, yes, you can buy more items that way, um, was because I wanted to make sure that we didn't miss a cutscene with Nagi, and since we have now run into her... Oh, EXP gain has doubled. Good to know. Good to know. 
So I wanted to make sure not to miss her, but now that we've run into her, like the odds that there was anything else on the same floor is quite low. Okay, so it feels like that was the most important thing I wanted to keep an eye out for in dungeons because I want to keep an eye out for eventually. So I'm gonna not worry too much about if I've explored a full floor just because I am a bit worried about making it yeah. to the end with no health yeah. items. But I'm gonna take advantage yeah. of this bonus XP. Uh, because I'm not sure- last time it felt like yeah. the bonus XP thing might have only applied to the floor that it, yeah. uh, the announcement popped up on, so I'm gonna try to uh, take down all the monsters on yeah. this floor before I move on. Yeah, at some point I should definitely, like, look up if there is a way to actually block with Louie's shield. Because, like, I would have thought of it if not for these guys. Like, they can block, and I'm like, well, well, I should be able to do that when playing as Louie. Oh man, level up already. Nice. Maybe one of these days we'll find a health item, and that will be very exciting. Because then I will have a better chance of defeating the floor 5 boss. <laughs> yeah, these night guys, they like can block attacks if I- Oh yes, that was a health item. Yes! Alright, and then that's the thing to the next floor, but I'm gonna keep going through this floor for the XPs. I really actually quite like the background music in this game. Did I just get a set of toothpicks? Okay, I gotta check out the logic behind that. I mean, I guess I- why am I surprised by toothpicks when I also pick up back scratchers sometimes? A set of simple sturdy toothpicks can double as a sewing- as sewing needles in a pinch. Don't stab yourself! I disagree with that premise, game. I do not think that toothpicks can be used as sewing needles. I mean, maybe if you had a tool with which you could punch a hole in them? Maybe, but no, because then they would splinter, and it would also depend on what you were trying to sew, I suppose. It certainly wouldn't for any even remotely thicker fabric. But I also maybe am putting too much thought into it. <laughs> A video game item of flavor text. Now I want to. I don't know what it says that I like look at the cute mushroom monsters and I'm like, now I want to eat a mushroom. Uh, you can use. Oh, okay, so you can use toothpicks as emergency sewing needles, use it as an awl. I don't 100% know what an awl is. So for like, say, thin leather for sure. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, because there are things- and I was also just thinking after the fact that you could do it like- like if you have those like plastic canvas type things and you're just sewing yarn through, that would also be a thing that could work for. Um, if you know at all what I'm talking about. But like my mother used to do, um, make hole then pass- oh, okay make hole, then pass thread through. I see, so you're saying, like, use the toothpick to make the hole? Fun fact, I repaired a broken st strap on my backpack with a sharpened stick and a boot lace. Fair enough. An awl is like a tool to make holes in leather and canvas. Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So, you'd make the hole first, or you, you'd use the toothpick to make the hole so that you could put the thread through. That makes sense! Alright, thank you! Now I, I I now believe that item flavor text. Alright, so I need to decide on something to drop, and I think it's just gonna be this, because I have hit my inventory limit, sadly. So be prepared for some semi-frequent item reconfiguring yeah. for the rest of the dungeon. Uh, reconfigure is not the word. Item management. Inventory management. Item sorting. But also, this level still has the bonus XP, so... Uh, 
needle eyes were invented after the null binding needle and super made stuff easier. Well, yeah, all right, fair enough. I mean, this is what I get for commenting. Well, not this is what I get, but this is a fun benefit of having made that comment to someone who, who would know the history of a lot of sewing things. That's actually really cool. Like, you know, that makes a lot of sense in retrospect that, like, Needles didn't always have eye, like the little eye that you put the thread through, but like it makes sense thinking about, oh yeah, of course that, I mean, I, I guess I wouldn't have known either way, but like, I can see how that, especially like the modern metal needles, like that, they are, they would not have been easy to make by hand before we had like machine tech, like, uh, in machine technology to do that. So, but that's cool. So, I I don't know what the null binding needle is, but it sounds like a precipitator to needleize needles, but I mean, that said, I can either be like, hey, what is a null binding needle, or, or ask you about it later, so. Alright, I don't think I need slime for this. I'm gonna go through and look for a couple of things to drop because I've still got plenty of the dungeon to go through. Oh, that ones are actually quite valuable, so I don't want to toss that. I do not think I need unremarkable clothing, so I'll drop that as well. Anyway, continuing on the adventure to try and take down all of the monsters on this level before I move on for that sweet, sweet XP bonus. Um... Let me just make sure there are no enemies in my immediate- Yep, yeah, alright. So, it used to be a slip in the Aeronox. Make a slip- make slip, put thread in, wrap a bit of- bit thing around. Null binding is sort of proto-knitting, kind of. Viking mittens found in grave good troves were made that way. Oh, cool! And I also, I am a nerd. Yes, well, I mean, that's why I actually was like, wait, I can just ask this question and you will be able to tell me all sorts of cool things about it. And so, I don't, I think history is interesting. So, so, I, I am always happy to hear more about that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Wah! What? Uh, okay, that teleported me to another part of the dungeon floor. I was totally not expecting that. Oh, it took me by surprise. I am a thread nerd, so yeah. I, like, you know, it, I hadn't even thought of it when I read that initially, read that out loud in, about the toothpicks and until, like, you did respond. And I'm like, wait, you are the exact right person to like, commenting on and or asking about these things. Commenting on to, or commenting to about, or asking about. Yes. So. And yeah, alright, so I, I, I know that this has nothing to do with the game, but it's stuff that I find really interesting. So, so like, that's really cool. So, like, uh... So, so the needle would have, like, a little, like, notch in it that you put the thread and to hold it. That's actually really cool. So yes, thank you for thank you very much for for answering my sewing questions. I as I said, I'm generally interested in these sorts of things. And certainly anytime I like ask like specifically ask the question, I'm interested to hear the answer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, there was a health item down here that I have missed. I can eat up there. Alright, I'm gonna get those last two- oh, you know what I just realized? I meant- I forgot about the thing where, like, when I'm in dungeons, I usually move my camera up so people on the stream can see the map. Um, okay, so most uh, needles found- do you mean, like, most found ones? Do you mean, like, needles found in, like, uh- in historical sites uh, have holes, but prior they had 
prior to needles having holes, they had notches. Yes, okay, that's cool. Today you can buy modern needles called German needles sometimes that have a notch rather than a normal eye, which are easier to thread. That makes a lot of sense. As someone who remembers trying to thread needle, tiny needles, gosh, yeah, I, it's a thing I have done in the past and, and suffered, so yeah, I could definitely see how a notch type needle would be easier to thread. Ah, yes, in, in archaeology, so... So today, on today's recipe stream, we learn cool things about need like historical needle stuff. The history of the needle. Yeah. So yeah, then that makes a lot of sense. So like, all right, I definitely take back my my doubts of the game's claim that toothpicks could be used as emergency needles, especially in what seems to be a sort of. Uh, like a uh, historical fantasy setting, a European historical fantasy setting. So. All right, I think I have maybe now well and fully true uh, taken out every enemy that is ever going to spawn on this floor. So, time to move on. Oh my gosh, I just noticed that I have actually zero picks. How did how did that happen? Well, I will keep an eye on that. Maybe I bought something else at that? Or actually, I'm now kind of concerned. Like, do I lose picks when my adventurer gets hit? Because that would be good to know. I'll, I'll look into it later. I feel- I, I continue to find that particular trap really confusing. Giant fish- like, it's one thing if it's like the rocks avalanche trap or the snow trap, but like, that one is just giant fishes come at ya. I guess I don't really need the- well, it's power plant, you know. I don't want to get rid of any of my items. Oh. Oh, oops. But I want that dual looking thing, so. Anti venom it is. Water crystal. What is that? I mean, I bet that that's an ingredient for fusion or something. Oh. oh, it's a treasure, probably, because I seem to recall. Treasures are one of the things that are priced down right now, or specifically precious metals, but I guess gems and metals. While deprived of elemental power, this crystal still possesses a beautiful blue color. All right, so it's actually perhaps, perhaps used in fusion, perhaps just a literal gem to sell. All right, yeah, this floor does not have bonus XP, so I was correct that that is single floor only. So we'll get too hung up on this floor. I, I will probably, especially now that we're like running out of space. Ah, uh, now there's stuff. Oops. It's always awkward when I accidentally hit the special move key. Uh, this is so hard. I guess I don't need that raincoat. It's pretty cheap and easy to come by. Similarly, the hat is kind of fancy, but not not difficult to reacquire. Gotta hold on to the health items for now because I am not need those at the boss fight. Uh, really? Really? That's fine. I'm gonna preemptively drop that wooden chess piece because that is not going to be worth very much. Yeah, I guess it was worth this about the same as the hat, but I definitely have stuff that is worth more. Okay, running away to go home and make dinner. Yes, that is understandable. <laughs> so not not a long walk, but yes. Well, thank you so much. Like I, I know that you were at work, so like, like I, I hope I wasn't uh, distracting you too much. But thanks for dropping in and chatting. I really appreciate it. Alright, I, 
okay, so at this point I think I'm just... I love these bunnies, they're very cute, but... At the end of the day, they are monsters, and if I, they'll get me if I don't get them. Alas. Like... I feel like I have in the past run into monsters that were in, in like, RPGs that were so cute it, it was vaguely upsetting to take them out, but... But in this act, I, I, most of the time I can be like, that is very cute, but it is a monster and it drops useful items, so... Is what it is. I'm low enough to use it, you know? Eh, maybe I'll drop that for ball in case the for ball on the ground is a plus something for ball. It is not. In which case, I traded a few identical items, so I'm not going to about it. Yeah, I think I'm just actually going to go to the next floor. Uh, you know, I said that, but now I'm like, my completionist tendency yes. doesn't strike again, and I'm like, but I'm yeah. so close to the end. And actually, if that's another healing item, maybe I'll use one of the healing items. I think it's a plus three walnut bread, but it's still like only an old walnut bread. Maybe I'll just use the apple. Yeah. Oh, pick up the cherry. Ooh, that was a plus four cherry. Nice healing item. <laughs> Alright, my completionist tendencies have gotten me to a small dead end. That's fine. Come back here, bud. Explode into tasty XP. Alright. How close are we? Oh, okay, I think this is the final floor of the dungeon. Excellent. Uh, but your inventory is full. Can you go put it somewhere and come back to where you left off? Nah. So the way the dungeon runs work is basically you are going to the dungeon to collect items to sell. And so, like, I can come back and do a new dungeon run, but I can't come back to this specific dungeon run and, like, pick up the items I left behind. It'll be all new items. So. But it's not, like, rare or... Or sometimes rare items will drop, but they there aren't any unique items, so although it'll be a different set of items, I always have the chance to get the same items. So it's it's not too bad, but like, yeah, it is a little painful to like leave items behind, but such is the way of having the limited adventuring inventory. My main inventory when I get back, when I leave the dungeon though, there's no limit on how many things I can have in, like, the shop's inventory. Alright, so let's check out this final floor cutscene, which I believe is the introduction of another adventurer I can recruit. Reset. So this is the lowest floor of the dungeon- er, so, so this is the lowest floor of the dungeon tier? Tier. Not precisely. While we cannot currently proceed any further, I strongly suspect that we can go even deeper in next time. Oh, okay, so this is the last floor that was currently available to me, I guess. Reset. Wait, huh? Why is that? Tier. The dungeons change shape every time someone enters them. Some theorize that they adapt to the strength of those who enter, and refer to it as the living dungeon phenomenon. The truth of the matter is... Unclear, however. Uh... Reset. Uh, okay. I wonder if the dungeon gets bored if it's alone. Oh, that's precious. Mysterious voice from off screen. So that would make the people who are foolish enough to enter a place like this the playthings of the underworld? Heh, <laughs> <laughs> I see. I like the way you think, girl. <laughs> Who's there? Dun dun dun! The introduction of one of my favorite characters, actually. Evening, name's Charm, the Lady Thief. 
the thief? Yeah, I like Charm a lot. As, as someone who, like, almost exclusively plays rogues in D&D games, I just... That is my character archetype. Uh, yay, new adventurers. Who, what do you hope for? Uh, what do I hope for? Or... Oh, sorry, sorry, I... I didn't see your text immediately, so I'm actually not sure what that question is referring to, but... I was very much looking forward to Charm showing up, and I was pretty sure this is where she did, so I am excited. Charm. So, your treasures, valuables, and assorted shiny bits. I'll be taking them, if you please. We won't let you! Charm. Sigh. Always the way. Well then. <laughs> what is it you desire, Devil Eyes? Yes, uh, we just, uh, reading that one from chat, uh, we just finished watching Lucifer, like, the whole series quite recently, which, very brief aside, I personally loved the Lucifer TV show, but only when I treated it as a completely different entity from the comics because of these. Um, the show is just kind of if I, if I, it, it's its own thing, and there are parts of it that are trashy, but there are a lot of great characters, and it's a good show, and so, like, the, the main character in that, Lucifer, uh, or, you know, that version of Lucifer has the ability to get people to tell him their greatest desires just by asking, which is kind of cool. We need to get red, rogue gear for LARPing. I like that show, too. I didn't know it was a comic. Oh, yes, um, Lucifer... Originally, Lucifer is based on, uh, so the character of Lucifer was introduced in the comic series Sandman by Neil Gaiman, which is a good series, but hasn't, there's some ways in which it hasn't aged well, so it was good for its time. Um, but yeah, so it introduced a very unique uh, version of, like, this character of Lucifer, and then that version of Lucifer got his own spin-off series. Uh, I can't remember if that series was also written by Neil Gaiman, but it might have been. Um, and then they made, they got, and then someone got the rights to make a show based on that version of Lucifer. And they didn't? By which I mean, they took really, really loose, they, they borrowed a bunch of the character names and took really loose inspiration from the original premise and then ran in a totally wildly different direction with it. And if you take it as a separate thing from the comics, it's fine, it's a, it's a good show, but like, if you are a comics fan and you're going in expecting anything even a little bit like the comics, you will not get that. Uh, so. But, like I said, good show. Uh, good comics, but just don't treat them as though they're going to be anything like the same thing, because they are not. I remember you mentioning Sandman. Yeah, I read most of it when I was like a lot when I was uh, in high school slash college, um, and like I was actually collecting it back in high school, so it makes sense that as of starting from then, so it makes sense that you heard me mention it. The biggest way in which like I haven't actually read the Sandman comics in a long time. They're very very like mature audiences only. Um, but certainly one of the biggest problems with them nowadays is that there's definitely some, uh, not great, uh, again, it was, eh. alright, so it's not great about trans people, there's some transphobic shit in it, but it was, it was very, I feel like it was ahead of its time, and that Neil Gaiman is an author who has learned better and is doing better now that he has learned better, so I'm willing to take it as a product of its time, but it was it was some not great shit. Uh, you weren't expecting the literal devil to be a main character in a police procedural? Yes. <laughs> yes. So, so, like, in the comics of Lucifer, you do have Lucifer and his faithful bodyguard, Mazikeen, come decide they're going to or Lucifer decides he doesn't want to rule hell anymore and moves to LA. That's the premise from the comics. But then the TV show was like, alright, we're gonna take that premise, but then he's going to, like, I don't know, uh, meet a lady cop and, like, join her as a consultant, and it's a- it became a police procedural. 
Um, but it does have some really good characterizations, and, like, honestly, like, I really- there's a character- a main character who's a therapist, and, like, the thing I love about her is that, like, she's a really good therapist! Like, I just really- I don't know, I just- that's not a thing I feel like I see depicted in TV often enough, so. Like, her own life is kind of a mess sometimes throughout the series, but she's a great character, and, like, whenever she is, like, trying to do the therapy thing, I've always, like, watched it and been like, yeah, like, that's- that's, like, how you do it right there. I mean, she starts off in a, uh, uh, interesting place in her life, and- but anyway, the character's very cool, and I like her a lot, and the show's very cool, and I like it a lot, and I mean, obviously nothing is perfect, but like, yeah, all right, so that, so that was a lot of tangenting. Oh, um, and the other thing I wanted to say about Sandman, so the comics, uh, they don't really hold up, uh, and have some, some negative shit in them, but there is a new TV show that is coming out, I believe, sometime soon? That is based on the Sandman's comic series, so I am, like, tentatively hopeful that it will take the good parts of the story and uh remove the bad you know it will be like let's just not include these things that were a product of their time and were problematic towards the like queer community so uh, here's hoping they did cast a already like they did cast a non-binary actor in a non-binary role which is like cool because first of all there aren't that many non-binary roles in the world, and so that's just not a- it's a thing that I'd love to see more of, but it just- there isn't usually the opportunity, so. Anyway, alright, I'm gonna pause that uh, long side note and go back to the current game, and so we are dealing with a new- a potential new adventure- future adventurer friend, um, Shit, I did sorry, sorry, I was just I was gonna say, alright, break from chat, except then I just found out cool new information. Fun fact, the therapist in Lucifer also did voice work for serial experiments Lane and Armitage 3. Wow. Like, that's that is cool, and I did not know that. Um Yeah, wow. That is a fun fact, thank you. Right, okay, actually back to the game now. I I <laughs> at least through the rest of this cutscene, I promise. Um, and by I promise, I also mean so if anyone does chat with me, uh, just hold on through the rest of this cut screen and then I'll get back to the chat. Um, so yes, so what has happened so far is we've gotten to the bottom floor that we can currently reach in the dungeon and have been faced with the Lady Thief Charm, who is great and I love her, and is demanding that we hand over all of our valuables. Um, I... I, I just, I don't know, I have an inexplicable love for fictional thief characters. Anyway, especially, like, charming ones, and as you might imagine from her name, like, charm has definitely some of that roguish charm element. Alright, so she asked for all her valuables, we refused, and charm's like, Sigh, always the way. Well then, in that case, looks like it's time to cut some fools! Oh no, I love Sorry. her. Yeah. I believe she just said, all right, this should be fun. Okay, okay so far. And always pause and do the items with the Ouch. I spoke too soon. Okay, all right, I think we can do this. Uh, let me not get too cocky and do some healing. Let's take that small neck red since it's not worth that much money, and so selling it won't be as worth it as using it as a healing item. Uh, and then maybe also the egg toast. Yeah, that should do it. Yeah. Alright. Yeah! Alright. So the next thing is I think I ah oh gosh. So I was like I said I said earlier I was looking up how to recruit various heroes, and I think there is maybe a cut screen with her that I need to keep an eye out for. That will probably be at night, um, and then I will need to make the vibe of my store dark and gaudy to get her to visit and 
and that will also be crucial to recruiting her as an adventurer. So, right, Charm, who I've just defeated in combat. Freaking bragging, ow! Hell, I'm losing my touch getting beat like that. Reset. Um, miss, are, are you okay? Charm. Ah, I'm mortally wounded! I can, I can see the far shore! Reset. What? No! I, um, um... Charm. I'm kidding, girl. Really, if you get this worried about every bird who tries to, to, to slit your throat and take your money... Ow! Friggin... Reset. Hey, you really are hurt! Here, take this wound ointment. Here. What the? Th did you have that on you this entire time? <laughs> Reset. <laughs> Sorry, Tear. Charm. Silence. You two are a pair of oddballs, you know that? Tear. Believe me, she is the only round, strange object currently present. <laughs> Oddball, round, strange object. I love it. <laughs> I want to call myself that now. Like... Like, you think I am an oddball? Or rather, if I'm going to call myself an oddball, what if instead I said I am a round, strange object? I love it. I love it. Alright. Tear, meanwhile, objecting to being called an oddball. Please do not assume that both of us are nearly so foolish. Charm. Really? Seems to me like you two make a good pair. Tear. Err. Charm. Well then, young ladies, I should scamper since I've been beaten like a mutt. Enjoy your treasure! You earned it! Reset. Wait! I'm Reset, and this is Tear. We have an item shop at the top of the hill in town it's called Resetir. You should stop by! Charm. I should, huh? Well, keep that in mind. See you kids later! Reset. Goodbye, Charm! Tear. Without giving her our shop location, what are you thinking, Reset? Reset is thinking that Charm seems cool, and honestly, I agree. Reset. The Lady Thief, huh? <laughs> she was kind of cool. Right? Right? Isn't she? I love her. Tear. You will forgive me if I do not think the same way. Reset. Silence. Hey, are you jealous? Tear. <laughs> Absolutely not! Amazing. I do like the idea that, like, Tear is a little bit jealous that Reset thinks someone else is cooler than her. Very odd base I just picked up from that fight. Interesting. Maybe that was something that Charm had acquired. I just, I like Charm so much. I, I look forward to recruiting her. She is a fun character. And very much aligned with, like, my personal roleplay goals, so. Yeah. Oh, I had room for one more item. I must dropped an item at some point that I didn't have to. Curses. That's fine, I still got 19 very nice items. And now it is night. And it doesn't look like there's anything going on right now, so... Might as well set stuff up and sell. Right, I definitely don't get to do the cape anymore. Oh, is there anything I have that is currently going for... Ooh, yes. Going for high prices for the rest of that sentence. Ooh, that's fancy. Well, I see no reason not to sell it, so it is treasure. Alright, so I typically don't want to sell ingredients, but I think some of them are good to go for good prices. Oh, yeah. let's also try to sell this beef bowl. I don't feel like I need two shirts, so let's replace that with something. Oh man. I just went dungeoning and yet I already feel like I'm running out of stuff. To sell. Oh well. Alright. Um, I don't want to 
so one thing that I try to do in this game is I, I try to keep at least one of every major type of item just because people might come in and ask for any individual type of item at any time. So. Um, I guess actually, maybe I don't want to sell the... I have some treasures I'd really like to sell, but I don't want to sell them while their price is down, so gotta wait on that. On the one hand, I don't like selling ingredients too much because I want to hold on to them so I can do cool fusion things with them. On the other hand, oh, I can't fetch a decent price for the back wing, so... Let's put that one out. And yeah, I guess for the rest I'll just put up some... There we go. That is a complete store restock. And let's open. <laughs> Tear. G. You. Oh, she already visited. Wow. Because I read that she was more likely to visit if the store was like a certain uh, vibe, but I guess. Good. And I, I I know we we lean towards our our the shop atmosphere leads a little towards. It gaudy already, so maybe that was good enough. Alright, charm. Huh, not too bad. This pl this is a pretty nice looking place. Dear, silence. Charm. You know, is it really so so kosher for an employee to give a customer a face like that? I thought a smile was the basis for customer satisfaction. Tear. Oh, for a normal customer, that is completely true. For someone who openly attempted to murder us, however, this is the only face I have to show. Uh, like, alright, fair. I love charm. Reset loves charm. But it is completely fair for Tyr to be like, the very first thing that she did was, like, attempt to, to, like, like, literally threatened to murder us and steal all of our stuff. That is a good reason to not like someone. But she, like, look, we, we beat her fair and square. She's over it now. She's not trying to steal anything for, or, or or otherwise harm us now. So I don't see what the problem is. Okay, like I said, I, I do actually. I just, I personally still really like her as a character. Charm. Well, it looks like she's got a different idea. You're set. Yay! Charm, welcome! I'm so glad you came. Charm. Yeah, well, I kept wondering about this place. Nice store you have here, Reset. Reset. Aw, thank you. Make yourself at home, okay? Tear. Reset. Charm. See? Tear. I see all too clearly, thank you. Charm. That Reset's a good girl. Nice, trusting, honest. Don't you agree, Tear? So, so not Tear. Uh, of, of course I do. You don't need to tell me that. Charm. <laughs> Knew these two would be fun. Oh, I love it. She's just stirring up trouble to stir up trouble. Love the archetype. I just love this character archetype a lot. Okay, now on to normal sales shop, shop sales. Reset. Oh, hi. Welcome. Man. Ah, I was looking for this. And he is attempting to buy my showcase item of shark fin. So I decided last time that- so I was having trouble because I was going for the standard, like, 30% markup on everything. And, like, I don't think that there's a one-size- I, I think there's actually not a good one-size-fits-all. But I did decide that maybe I would err on the side of 25% markup. So, well, so I'm gonna stick with that plan and stick with that increase as my standard go-to for most people, and then adjust it depending on who's asking. In fact, this guy's like, ah, can't ask you to go any lower. Right, I'll take it. Reset, thank you so much. Yay, I sold Sharkfin for 2,500 picks. Yeah, not bad. I need a lot more than that, but good start. Reset, welcome. Looking for something special? Woman. 
like this, please? Do we just want the candy? That's fine. Woman. No, I can't back down. Less, please. It's candy. It's really not. Well, we'll try this. Woman. That seems about what it's worth. Yes. It was not as an expensive item, so I'm not too worried about having put the mic up and down. Oh, hey, Charm is buying something from us. We, I want to give her a good deal because I want her to be my friend. Reset. Welcome. If you need anything, just ask. Ooh, the more I look at this, the more I just need to have it. Oh, and that might actually also be something she can equip, so... It is priced up, but... <laughs> oh, I love it, Charm. Charm says, What is your toll in filthy lucre, good madam? Alright, I love Charm. I love her a lot. So, although I can sometimes go up to nearly 300% on items that are at a higher price, and for, for Charm, I'm only gonna go twice the normal asking price. If I can ever get the thing to block the thing. There we go. And if she goes, what? No, I will put it down a lot. Yeah! Charm. Ah, I'm lucky. That's less than I thought I'd have to pay. Well, that's because I want to- yes, oh great. I am blatantly giving out friend discounts in in this here shop. And I regret nothing. I mean, I still made bank on that because that was an item that was uh, at a markup, so still sold for like twice what it could normally get. What's that? Whee! I sold iron armband for 1300 pence. Oh, it is Louie. Do you want to buy a sword maybe, Louie? So I can stop bringing one for you to equip? Well, we'll find out. Hi there, what can I get you? Louie is asking to be sold something metal. What? Alright, so normally I would just be like, here is a sword, it is made of metal. However, I worry that he means something made of precious metal, because that's something I remember from the last time, from my last stream, there was a markdown on things made of precious metal. So... I worry I will offer a sword and he'll be like, what? No, that's not what I'm talking about. Um, but I also don't want to sell him for something that is at a markdown. But he's our adventurer friend, so... Oh, 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 I can't decide. I can't decide if I should try for, to sell him the sword after all. I don't want him to get mad at us, so I will sell the thing that I am sure is considered to be made of metal. I might look this up, because that's an odd, like, tag word. But I don't want to interrupt the stream to go look it up, so err on the side of this. I was wrong! I should have sold him the sword! It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He asked for something made of metal. He probably meant something made of steel or iron or something. But because there had recently been a new splash, uh, not this stream, but on a previous stream, that items made of precious metal were at a markdown, I decided that it was possible that he specifically meant precious metals, uh, because I don't know much about the tag words. So I erred on the side of what I thought was the safer bet, but it turns out precious metal and metal are considered different, and probably I could have just sold him a steel sword. Now I know, and this will make the second time I have failed to sell Louis a better sword, but that's okay. It's not like he's gonna- he's our first adventurer friend. He's not gonna turn around and abandon us. Sometimes mistakes are made, and that's okay. The important thing is to learn from them. And in games, you can actually quite literally learn from them. So now I know if somebody asks for something metal, they do not mean precious metal. Those are considered two different types of items. So, I learned something. And I made 
a fraction of what I need to earn over the next week. Wasn't nothing, and I exceeded expectations. So. News The price of long swords has decreased. The price of shields has normalized. Big Bash is here for your shopping needs 24 7. Big Bash being the store that uh, resets rival Alouette runs. Or rather, is the heir to. <laughs> Alright, I do need to open the shop at some point today, but like, considering how quickly I was running out of items again, I think I want to keep on keeping on with the adventuring as well, so. <sighs> I'm sorry, Lily. We could have sold you a sword. It's fine. I, I, I already decided I'm not going to get bogged down on that. Anyways. We will go on a great adventure. Okay. Alright, so this is still all I have access to for the Okay, so I can do a dungeon boss rush. I'd, I'd rather not if I don't have to, so... Uh, which floor do I want to replay? I'm wondering what will happen at the end of... I wonder if I only ever have to fight... I feel like... So Charm was the last boss in this, but I wonder if now there will be a different boss because we already defeated her. Or if we'll just get to the bottom floor and there will be, like, nothing there. Which would also be fun. Alright. Off on another adventure. Oh, and I even got an extra piece of armor to sell to the guild master, which I guess I'm sure to do sometime. I mean, I'll just open the shop as soon as I'm done with this dungeon. Yeah. And so that should be it. I was promised that I would get more advanced orders, but I have not seen any and I am disappointed. Yeah. I mean, that's fair. Like, I mean, I'm sure I will get more eventually. I really like, actually, the idea of advanced orders because then people can ask for specific items and I've got time to get those items, so. Which is a little different than people coming in and being like, I would like this specific type of item and I better have it on hand when they ask. Alright, and since this is actually not, since I, this is now going to be a floor I already ran, I am, in fact, yeah. more focused this run on getting items than not. But also, I'm going to be keeping an eye, I'm going to be exploring every map section just because uh, I think that we're going to have one more random dungeon encounter with that guy before we go. There's so many kobolds! Oh, hey, guess what? Guess what I just remembered? I once again forgot to bring. Healing but to be fair, you know, not bringing healing items yeah. is also sometimes a valid strategy for inventory management. Because I usually pick ones up as I go, and in fact I did. So I have already gotten some walnut bread items. Yeah. So So it is not a disaster that I once again did not think to bring anything with me, but it is something I'd like to get back in the habit of remembering at some point. So I am going to- so I am, uh, clarifying to remind myself for future reference. Alright, so we're going the standard approach of finish exploring every section of the map before moving on, but I'm not going to be too hung up about defeating every monster. Although I did just look over and notice that I am very close to <sighs> You know what else I want to remember? Uh, so I, I noticed I was very close to that because I notice sometimes that I stop in the middle of sentences and I also want to get a bit better about that. Yeah. Well, that will probably always be something that occasionally happens that's kind of how my brain works. Uh, so another thing I... Wait. 
Oh no, what was I gonna say? So I want to... Ah! That thing about how my brain works? Yeah, so so I have, like, I've, I've mentioned this on stream before, but I have a non-trivial bit of ADD, and there was definitely something that I was like, this is an important thing, and I want to remember to do this in the future, and it was not, it was going to be something slightly more complicated than the remember to bring health items in a, on the dungeon run. And whatever it is, it has fled my mind entirely. Such is sometimes the way. I feel like it was something I wanted to remember for streaming in general, which is... I'd like to say if it was really important, I'll remember it again eventually, but with ADD you can't guarantee that, so I'm just gonna hope that if it was important, I'll remember. Eventually. Uh, anyway, so continuing on... This dungeon run we should be fine. Yeah, I've got... I've now already got two different health items, and I'm, like, more than level enough at this point to... Not quite at type twice the level of the monsters I'm fighting, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. because we have a bunch of food leftovers. Um, and I am looking forward to that. And now every time I see these little... And I can tell I'm getting to the point where I'm like, yes, looking forward to food, because looking at the little mushroom monsters is not just making me go, Ooh, it tastes of mushrooms. It's now making me go, oh no, I want food. Though actually, I do have some like little crunchy things, so let me know if it's too annoying. Like... I feel like I have a nice enough mic that the crunching might be picked up, so if it gets annoying, please let me know. I won't do too much, but I do have these little veggie straws. And I feel like if I just eat a couple now, oh, it should tide me over. Sorry for the crunchy noises. Back to fighting huh? little mushroom blobs. <laughs> it is unusual that it actually that I actually get lucky enough that they pop up right under me, so wasn't quite expecting that. Ah. Ah, I made it to the other side of the fallen rocks. Ooh, At least that one is a trap that's very easy to avoid. So far, which makes sense, because like, yeah, like, I, I took advantage of the last dungeon run that I was really thoroughly leveled up my adventurer a lot, and it makes sense that dungeons will get easier the higher level your character is. As it should be. And I'm relieved because honestly, I I am definitely one of the types of people who always puts games in easy mode if they're like in whatever the easiest any game that has like a, you know, easy, normal, difficult mode, I typically will err on the side of easy, especially if there's any amount of story to the game, because I find it really frustrating to be like locked out of story progression because I wasn't, like, good enough at combat, for example. Um, and, you know, I, th I think it's okay for different players to have different playstyles, and some people really like the challenge of, like, super hard games, and I think that's super valid, and I just, like, I hope that other people would think that it was really valid that I tend to... And, I mean, I don't even... Like, I don't tend towards playing games that are known for being, like, complicated. I don't actually like roguelikes very much for that reason. I mean, it's not that I never play them, and I, like, there are some that I like, and it's, it's certainly not, like... 
It, it's not even like, I don't think roguelikes are bad. Like, again, I think it's a great form of game and there are some types that actually do work for me, but it's a gameplay style that I don't always love, um, just for myself. And I think it is okay for different people to have different preferences and approaches to gaming. And... Alright, that was that floor. So... So in my case, like... I'm also... Like, when I'm playing, like, JRPGs, I will often spend, like, ones that are more focused on combat, like, 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 like older Final Fantasy games, for example, I would always spend a lot of time early on doing a lot of, like, level grinding just so that I could then, like, later as the story progressed, I could keep, like, progressing smoothly. So it's it's like a, a little time consuming and like grinding for levels is probably not something I'd ever be inclined to like do on a game I was streaming. But just for me again, it it, it was a, basically a way to make later fights easier so that I would have a more fun time. So. And I mean, this game is... Uh, Reseteer is not designed to be a difficult game, I do, I do not think. Uh, let's see, I should just use some more on my bread. And I should be able to pick up more. But... I feel like I was... Right, so Reseteer is not designed to be a difficult game, but... As is my, my preference, I am liking that I'm able to, like, go through this. Well, mostly go through the dungeon quite smoothly. Ah, the inventory management game, though. Hits me every time. That might actually be something I also look up, because, like, I was... As I was mentioning earlier, like... This is a game where I realized I'm less concerned about getting accidentally spoiled from the wiki, so I think it's there are certain things I'm more willing to look up than I would be if it were a game that was like heavily story driven where I would worry about like about any anything I look up could potentially be to spoilers. So like I for example, uh the uh, so I'm currently in the middle of a playthrough of Cinderella Phenomenon. And I think I've mentioned this before, it's a you know, brief self-plug for, for anyone watching this who doesn't already know. Um, I am streaming Cinderella Phenomenon, which is a visual novel Otome dating sim game, and um, I've just changed the schedule to that to be every Monday at 4pm. And if you want to watch the old videos to like catch up on the story, uh, they're all available. I think they're actually all still available on my uh, Twitch channel, but also I have a associated YouTube channel with the same username that you can go watch old mods on. Um, and Cinderella Phenomenon is a very, so it's, like I said, it's a visual novel, so it's very heavily story driven. And I did get, like, I was told that there's like a recommended order to the, like, love interest routes to, that you should play if you want to avoid spoiling yourself, if you want to get the story kind of in story order without getting like major spoilers for previous routes um and so that is one where i am like high key avoiding looking at the, anything about the game or like looking at the wiki or anything because that feels like i will super spoil it would be very easy to spoil myself and this is also as someone who does i there are some sorts of things that i actually do like getting spoilers on for like movies or tv shows or whatever um and so if it helps like if I have if I have like a friend or a family member who's like already seen it, sometimes I'll ask for certain types of spoilers. Uh, but it also has been a thing where I'm like, I need to know this one thing. Or I it will it is important me, to me to know like you know, how this specific character turns out or something. And I'll go look it up on the wiki, and then I'll learn like five other things that I didn't actually want to be spoiled on. So it's something that I'm very sensitive to, and it's something I actually run into a lot. Largely, like, you know, it's something I go in knowing that that's a danger, which is why, like, if I can, like, ask someone I know, I prefer that. Um, 
because, you know, in an ideal world, I want to get spoiled specifically on the things that I want spoilers for, and not get spoiled on the things that I don't want spoilers for. But, uh, you know, it doesn't always work that way, so... So yeah, I, I decided, like, especially with, like, Cinderella Phenomenon, Phenomenon, it's like this really interesting, like, fantasy game that doesn't seem like the sort of game that would have anything that would be, like, so upsetting to me that learning it, that, fun like, it happening suddenly and unexpectedly would be a problem for me. So, in summary, there's nothing I feel like I need to look up spoilers for in that game, and therefore I want to, I very much want to, like, experience the story without knowing, knowing it ahead of time, so... Do, do, do. News. SP consumption halved. Right. I yes. don't tend to use the special moves that much, but I guess I could be a little weird with them this time. Uh, but I don't feel like I need to be with the arms. Oh, come on. Nah. That's fine. Like I I was saying before, I'm not gonna get hung up on fighting every single bad guy. Get the scrap plate. That's probably not better than what he's wearing, but I'll just check real quick. That definitely looks like the kind of armor that would be nice. Oh wait, no, that's not equipped, that is used. So I'm pretty sure that the one I just picked up is like significantly less good, yeah. But I felt like it wouldn't hurt to check, so... I did just that. Yeah, some of the dungeon traps make perfect sense, like, it's like, okay, I'm suddenly surprised by a whole bunch of slimes. Or, like, you know, falling rocks, but I've complained about this before, I'll complain about it again. The fishes. The fishes confuse me. There will be giant fishes, and they'll like just be like rotating, and they'll attack you, and it's weird. It's weird. They're not like monsters. They're just big old fish. But such is. I mean, I wonder if there's some kind of like pun there, or if maybe the game developers were just being yeah, silly. I don't know, but. It is a thing that feels odd, and I will probably continue to comment on that whenever it happens. Do do do. Oh man, alright, what? Okay, so, uh, so floor, there are four floors at a time, so 11, 15? So this, I think, is the last floor for this dungeon run, so. Which is good, because uh, I've definitely started to get to the, getting to the... Ah, yeah. Getting to the inventory management is big on the stage. Uh, I do not need walnut breads. Those are not worth a lot of money to sell. And they don't need a lot of help. So I, I feel as though I have moved on from the need for walnut breads. Alright, a little bit more of this floor to explore before we move on. Uh, Oh, that was a trap chest. We're gonna be sleepy sliding all throughout the rest of this floor. Wow. Oh, slippy slidey plus jumpy bunny was uh, exciting for a second there, but... Ooh, out there. Oh, a mystery ingredient. Must know what it is. Okay, let's see. What can I toss now? Maybe I'll just use the apple. I don't really need the health boost, but wait, come on. There we go. It's hard to pick things up when I have sleepy sliding. Oh, another fancy crystal. Maybe I'll drop a chestnut. Or a fancy crystal. Oh, wait. Is that her? It is! It was so worth exploring all of every floor! Hi, Nagi! Reset. Oh, hi, Nagi! Konnichiwa. Nagi. Goodness! Hello, Reset! How odd that we meet here! I was just on my way to your store! I should arrive soon, I hope! Reset. You hope? 
tier. We will have to be patient with this one, I fear. Nagi. Yes, please be patient. I will be there soon. Yay. Alright, so that was the fourth time I've run into Nagi, which I think is you, you need to find her four times in dungeons before she'll come visit the shop. So hopefully the next thing that'll happen with her will be her coming to visit the shop. Ooh, that looks like a fancy food item. Alright, what can I drop? No, I don't need this old muffler. I should have tossed that sooner, honestly. Shrimp Doria. That sounds like a fancy food item. Oh, yes. A rice dish made with shrimp, melted cheese, and a special white sauce. Is your mouth watering? A bit, yes. Oh. That is a fancy food item. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take down this little puzzle. And yeah, I think we're good here. I've got, uh, we got, did I? Is my inventory full? Yes. I don't want to like toss something and then find out that, oops, I now have extra space when I am heading out. So. Final floor? Yes. All right. Okay, there's another item. Uh, what do I want to drop? Maybe drop a chestnut? Yeah. Or actually, wait. Um, what about that? Uh, Yeah, that's pretty cool. Not worth much. Uh, yeah, in fact, iron armor is much better than scrap plate. Alright, let's go! Hooray! Yeah, that was a good run. Alright. Doesn't look like any events, so we'll go back to the shop. Oh, and also, if you want to talk to Tyr and... Yeah, come on, talk to Tyr. Hi. There we go. Check my outside orders one more time. I do have both the slime liver and the bat wings, so those turn out to just be a normal drop. So, I just need to get some charred lizard for Kaibu. Oh. So I assume he'll probably show up at the shop as soon as I have that last item. So, and some, and now probably during this shop period, the guildmaster is going to come in to pick up his order of two pieces of armor. Shields are back to normal, but. Uh... I got plenty of other stuff. Uh, I just I want these items to go back to being worth the amount they're normally worth because I want to sell those golden scales. They're worth so much. It may be that the next thing I'm gonna end up wanting to do once I have the the capital to actually do it is to go buy some expensive items so I can turn around and resell them. Oh, let's definitely put up the thing that is, like, being marked up. Oh, no, I already have one of those. Oh, a second one now. Uh, right, some of these items are actually quite rare. And by rare, I mean go for plenty of money. But they also are probably expensive because they're rare items, so I'm like... Oh... I'm definitely- I think next- I- when I have enough capital to do it, I just need to go shopping and stock way the heck up because- I keep feel Oh, yeah, I forgot I did get some fancy food items that I can sell, so let's do that, and so there was like a new people. But yeah, so I still feel like my inventory is- is overall very low. Like, it's always like, oh, I have to decide what- like, I've got too much items when I'm in the dungeons, but like- once I have left, I'm like, I don't have nearly enough items to sell, so such is the way. Every time I see the Taiyaki, it makes me want some. Yeah, I, I hear that. We'll have to make sure we get more next time. Come down. 
to come up, actually. I just couldn't take it because I was thinking, come visit, and I'm now realizing that you are now south of me, so it's every time you come up rather than come down. Yeah, let's just go for open it this door. Do -do. Where's that? Whoa! Tear. So it has happened at last, as I thought it might. Reset. But it's been so long. I, I never thought. Tear. Yes, I know. But we must make do with the hand dealt to us by fate. Reset. But this is still a good thing, right? Tear. Only time and fate will tell. Nagi. The thing they were just referring to is that Nagi has finally appeared. Nagi. Oh my, the atmosphere in here feels so dramatic. I wonder why. Are you two alright? Uh, anyway, on to normal sales. Reset. Welcome. If you need anything, just ask. Woman. I would very much like to place an order for two bracelets. I'll come for them in two days, so can you get them ready? Yes, I can. That's easy peasy. <laughs> Reset. Well, I have an order. Reset. Welcome. Can I help you with anything? Girl, do you have a hat? I do. I should for sure have hats. Reset offers a wool hat, says it is good. Girl, yeah, that. I'll take that. Alright, I always err on the side of lower with the like little girl characters because they are. Ooh, picky. Oh man, there's a tiny fly in front of me and it's very distracting. Give me a moment. Alright, we'll try 15%. It's probably gonna be too long. Oh, no, alright. I guess the I guess that she's just fine with that. Girl, thank you, Mr. Reset. Thank you so much. Maybe I have a better reputation with the little girls now. The little girl demographic. Reset. Welcome. Can I help you with anything? Girl, this is for my brother. And she's asking for an upsell item. Yay! Let's do... I still don't want to go too high. So I'm going to do 260% of base price as a starting point. Mm -hmm. Girl. Oh, huh, is that much? Alright, we'll go down to, I think, 200. Girl says, okay! Thank you so much! Yay! I sold Iron Armband for 1,500 picks. Aha! The Guildmaster is here perhaps to pick up his order? Reset. Hi there! Guildmaster. Hey, you got the pieces of armor I asked for? I do, sir! I bought them from you! Well, I bought one from you. I actually did find an extra iron armor while I was adventuring, so that's cool. Oh. Reset. How about this? Guildmaster. Perfect! You knew just what I wanted! Well, this one was pretty simple, so... And... Let's do 20... 28% of base price. Guildmaster says that too, Arigatou sure enough! Thank you so much! Yay! I sold two pieces of armor for 9,600 picks! Aw oh, yeah, now we're in business. Reset. Hello, welcome to Reseteer. Girl, do you have a bracelet? Oh shoot, did I run out of bracelets? I might have run out of bracelets. Oh no! What do I do? I can't just say no. That's just not an option. Uh. Oh no, this has been a while since this has happened. Uh, can I interest you in a nice uh old muffler instead? Oh, <laughs> girl, Miss Reset, you didn't, you don't get it at all. Reset, I made them mad, didn't I? I can't help it if I don't have the item you're looking for. I'm actually somewhat distressed that the game doesn't let you say I don't have that item. For like a smaller penalty than just... Yeah, sorry. Like then just here is the wrong item. Reset. Welcome. Looking for something special? 
Ah, woman, there are a lot of good memories tied to this, but... It's a candy apple, so I don't know how many memories are gonna be tied to the candy apple because it is a food item. So it's always funny to me when people say, I have so many fond memories, or this is like my grandmother's antique item, and it's like a perishable food item. Well, anyway. Okay, I tried 40% of the base price at Wolf Plus, so let's go up to 50. Let's even do 51. Yeah, a woman says yes, that sounds good, right? You got a little heart. The slipper says super appreciated the deal I got. Alright. What's that? Hi there, what can I get you? Old man. Hehe, <laughs> been looking for one of these. Oh, good. Because that is another upsell item. I don't want to go too crazy, but I will err on the high side of what I think I can get away with. No, nope. old man says it's really that expensive. Fine, I did price it a little high. Let's try this. Old man. Well, that'll do, I suppose. Well, he bought it. That's the important part. I sold a souvenir charm for 675 picks. Blee! Oh, hey, it's Alouette. Reset. Welcome. If you need anything, just ask. Alouette. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alouette has come to buy a special item, and it's the first time she's ever done so, and I don't have the item she's asking for. Alouette. I'll lower some myself to buying something from you. A bracelet. I just don't have it. I just don't have it. And she says... Uh, I shouldn't have expected much from a pole. Oh, see, this is why I don't like... This is why it's important to have... Yeah, next time I go into town, I'm just gonna, like, stock up on tons of the, like, unlimited... Um, the cheapest version of every item, so I am never totally out. It's important. We're set. Welcome. Looking for something special? Old man. Need to help the old pension, you see? What can I get for this? Call it a little below 50%. Old man says that's too reasonable. Reset says thanks. Please come again. Yay, I got cherry for 400 picks. News. Housewives with new money management skills are on a precious metals bender. The price of valuable things has normalized. When leaving your house, be sure and lock up. Well, okay, that, that's, that's nice of the news, I suppose. That is so good because it means, oh, I can finally be like, please, 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 buy my gold skills. Hey. So, for, for money. And I can also sell those statues. Alright, hey. so just toss a candy apple up there. And honestly, I could just open the shop again. But I wanna... yeah, no events, so. Alright, that said, actually, uh, so I'm, I'm good to keep streaming and I'm planning to keep going, but I'm gonna be right back. Uh, I hope that anyone who is watching will stick around. And I'm going to leave the pleasant rest of your background music on. And in fact, oh yeah, I forgot I set it up so you can even kind of see what's going on in the game in the corner. Not that anything will be happening while I'm gone, but uh, it, it should be back pretty quickly, so be right back.
actually not back quite yet. It'll be just one more minute. But I forgot to silence an alarm on my phone, so... Uh, don't mind that definitely copyrighted music. Hopefully that won't run into any problems, and I will be back very soon. Alright, I'm actually back now, and sorry about that. I usually remember to silence my phone before streams, but I just, and, and, or, like, just totally slipped my mind, and there was a automatic alarm that went off that, uh, and it's fine, and I mean, I don't think it was, like, bad music or anything, it was just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sensitive about things that can get you copyright strikes, so... All right, do do do. Back to game, and oh hey, I'm actually looking over. I remembered, I remembered the thing from earlier that I like. If anyone uh, has been watching the whole stream through or is watching the whole thing through later, and I had a moment where I'm like, oh no, I feel like there was something that was like relevant that was about streaming that I thought was also very important to remember when I do dungeon runs. It was moving my camera moving it up so it doesn't cover the map when I'm in dungeons, and then moving it back down so it doesn't cover up parts of people having conversations when I'm not in dungeons, which I've now forgotten to do several times. So, I mean, I know it's not that big a deal. It's, it's not like I was blocking anyone's faces or anything, but like, uh, it's just something I, I'm not usually in the habit of doing, like moving around the camera, so... Just something I wanted to flag out loud so I'd be more likely to remember it later, and then midway through trying to say that out loud, I utterly at the time forgot the thing I had been about to say. But then just now, looking over and being like, oh right, camera! First time I remembered. Do, do, do. Yeah, alright, and then I, I think I already checked. Yes, there is nothing going on. At the moment for cut screens, so I'm not gonna worry about. Like, I'm pretty sure if there was gonna. So, I think there's like a nighttime cut screen for. Or, like, a. a... The blinky th special event. That's actually probably the word I want. Like, it, when you go into town, there's like. If one of the places is blinking, it means there's a special event that'll happen when you go. And I think there will be a nighttime one for charm at some point, but I'm pretty sure it would do the normal, like, light up thing, so since there isn't, I'm happy to just open the shop back up. Um, I did run into that problem of running out of bracelets, though, so... Eh, eh. Maybe I will go buy stuff after all. Ah, man, it's a little annoying that I'm going out while the market's not open, but... Well, it is what I decided to do, it's what I'm going to do. 
Alright, so my plan is to buy a couple of every cheap item. And like, the price is up on this, but I still think I would be selling it for more than I'm buying it for, so let's actually just get a couple extra of the cheap one of this. Uh, might not be worth it in the long run, but... Uh, one of the nicer one. I just want to have extras of everything. Wanna, but I'm trying to find the balance between going crazy with this and... So people ask for hats a lot, so it's worth getting some extra hats, I think. Um, a couple, so everything I'm gonna get at least one or two extras of the cheap version of, but... Uh, okay, I'm not gonna buy anything else that is currently at a high price, because I still have... Well, I'm kind of down low, but if I don't put... If I hold on to it, I should be fine. Uh, maybe I'll actually get a couple of those, just in case, because I really... Yeah, I'd forgotten how much I dislike running out of items that people are asking for. And also, I'm going to buy extra swords while they're down. Probably don't need to buy the cheap ones anymore, but at least not while they're on the low. Uh, yeah, alright, I'm pretty low now. Um, I don't have... No, I have at least one dagger, I have at least one st staff, and people don't ask for specific weapons that often, so... I do have zero of these types of items. Maybe I will grab... a cheap laundry bowl. The odds that anyone but my event... Uh, but Nagi would come in asking for a specifically a sphere or a glow, but... Well, I already made the choice to get the cheap one, so I can't get the extra leather glove. Clothes are so very cheap. I already have a bunch of those, so I don't need I have some robes. I have some plate. I have some... I still have plenty of armor. And I already bought a whole bunch of bracelets, so... Alright. Oh, I guess I also can check on Fusion while I'm here. Oh, hey! I have a couple of things I can make? That's exciting! Ooh! Fancy new sword. Fancy new knife. Okay, that's exciting. Uh, what else was I working towards? Uh... I feel like there was a couple things where I had- alright, so there was like a- I need one more insect trap to get that, and- oh, actually, if I just got the hand-knit muffler, I could come back and make a fancier hat. Good to know. Can- wait, does he sell those? No, that's sold in the market. I'll have to go. He does seem to sell some scarves, but he doesn't have the fancier ones, so. Oh wait, no, 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 I'm in the sell screen, I'm not in the buy screen. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, no. I'll have to wait till the market's open. But yeah, that was actually pretty worth it. Uh, do I have enough to make more? I do have enough to make more. Two fancy gilded swords. Uh, I do not have enough to make anything else new, so... Alright. Well, that was actually... That made it a little more worth it, I feel like. Alright, I still managed to exceed expectations. Ohayou! News! The price of food has decreased. Oh. The price of accessories has normalized. Today's weather, sunny, possibly cloudy, with a chance of rain and thunderstorms. That's a, a lot of things at once. Sounds like they're in, well, certain areas of... I was gonna, like, insert joke about area that is known for bad weather here, but... I'm still being a little bit avoidant of location revealing, so... <laughs> Um, yes, sorry. I 
you know, just tra kind of trailed off in the middle of a the thought there. Um, and by in the middle of the thought, I mean in the middle of what I was doing. I'm so excited I got fancy new swords, but I can't sell it yet because I wouldn't have anything to replace it. Um, right, so I want to replace food that is in my window shop. Man, I just bought all those bracelets at the higher price, and now the price is normal. That's fair, actually. Even with the price being up, I still only bought it for very slightly more than it, the base price, so... I should still be able to sell them at a higher amount. Is there anything that's currently up? Looks like not that I have on hand, so... Gosh, um... I can do some of the stash stuff now. For now, I still want to hold on to ingredients for things. Oh, no food. No selling food. Food is too cheap right now. Maybe I could do the gloves. Yeah, the gloves are slightly. Well, actually, sometimes there's, I think, a benefit to having things in the window that are slightly less expensive. So, alright. And uh, we have the one advance order, but I think that's still for a couple of days from now. Alright, so I still need charred lizard for the hiring Kylo Kylo. Um and tomorrow I need to make sure I open my shop with at least two braces in stock. That should be fine since I went and bought like a whole lot, but I can go back at some point maybe before I open the shop in the tomorrow in the in game tomorrow to get something fancier. Because if I know I'm going to be able to sell it right away, then it's totally worth getting the more base expensive item. Oh. I suppose I, I was supposed to say, I'm now very sad because I have polished off my drink that was not water, um, but that's fine. I enjoyed it. And I can always get more. It is a barley tea. Bottled barley tea. I don't usually drink bottled drinks, um, but I really like- there's a lot of bottled teas at a local Japanese grocery store that I really like that I definitely am a little bit addicted to. <laughs> well, not literally addicted, but like super, super invested in. Alright, before I open the shop, I just remembered I want to check for... Couldn't remember if I had done special events, which looks like I have not. Also, I wonder if the Adventuring Guild is just closed on certain days? Oh, yeah, okay. So, worth checking. It doesn't have days of the week, but at a glance I can look at that and be like, that would be the equivalent to Thursdays. Alright, so I will just open this one. I don't think there was anything else that I had absolutely none of besides the bracelets. Reset. Welcome! What can I- Reset. Oh hey, you're that girl who was hanging out near the windows earlier. Stained glass Yanis! I'm glad you came in! What can I get you? Arma. A uh, mysterious person says, Arma. I happen to know that's her name. Reset. Bois? Oh, is that your name? So is that like Miss Arma? Like a last name? Or. Miss Arma. Negative. Or er, Arma says. Miss Arma. Negative. Arma. Reset. So you're saying just call me Arma then? So. Arma. Affirmative. Well, maybe that was a little more <laughs> energy than Arma would put into saying something. Reset. Well, I'm Reset. Nice to meet you, Arma. Arma. Reset. Reset. Yep. Arma. State the purpose of this facility. Reset. The purpose of? Uh, okay. To start with. And then fade to black as she presumably explains the basics of the item shop. Reset. So that's about it. You can buy and sell items here. Bakata. Arma. A material distribution center. Understood. Reset. Materi- Uh, yep. So what do you- Arma. I am taking this object then. Reset. Yeek! Wait, hold on! 
Karma. There is a problem? Reset. Well, if you want something, if you want to have something uh, distributed to you, you need to pay me some money, you know? Arma. Money. Term undefined. Elaborate. Reset. I need to explain money? Yikes. Uh, I'd better stall up. start all over then. So, uh, how do I explain what money is? Well, the money we, we use is referred to as picks. Fade to black as she attempts to explain. Reset. So that's why different items cost different amounts, see? Fade to black again as we presume that she gave more explanation. Reset. And that's when the hero yelled, This is the end of my journey! Reset, you got off topic. Reset. And that's why you need to pay for items in places like this. Wakatta. <laughs> Arma. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Understood. I currently lack money and therefore am unable to perform shopping. Uh, to, to be clear, she is like money and shopping, as these are terms that are, are, are both like in quotations because these are terms that are unfamiliar to her. By the way, speaking of archetypes, of character archetypes, I really dig. Arma is clearly, or at least reads, I, I don't know much about her, but I, I, am, I am pretty sure she's not actually human and, or at least is not familiar with human customs, and that is also sort of an archetype that I dig. I, I really like, like, like robots and, and aliens and such, but particularly robots who are, like, trying to learn how to human. Like, and I like this with aliens too, because it's like, what strange what are these strange customs that humans have? I wish to learn more. It's just a, a, a trope I really like. So. But I know I will not actually be able to recruit Arma for adventuring for a very long time, so if for now I will just enjoy her coming in to visit the shop occasionally. Reset. Well, come back sometime. Reset. Well... That was exhausting. I hope she does come back, though. Reset. Hello, welcome to Recipeer. Old man. Ah, little lady, how much for this? Let's put it at... 28%? Old man. I can't buy it at that price, you know? Maybe that my reputation is not good with the old man demographic, so let's maybe take it down to 10% Marco? Okay, old man. Ah, see, that's a fine price. Worked it out. Reset. Yay! I sold tree seed necklace for 1100 picks. Reset. Hello! Welcome to Reseteer! Oh, it's Nagi. Reset. I would like two weapons. Can you have them ready in three days? Yes, absolutely, and I will give you a weapon that you can equip, and you will hopefully equip it and have a cool uh, weapon. Reset. Thank you so much! <laughs> well, I have an order! Reset. Welcome, Guildmaster. Hey, got a treasure? I do, indeed. Hey, buddy, do you want to buy my really expensive treasure? Because I'm really worried about being able to, like, make <laughs> make my uh, debt payment. How about this? Guildmaster. Haha, <laughs> this is a nice little thing you're recommending. Isn't it just? And by isn't it just, I mean... Boy, is it a pricey item. Hey, hey, buddy, do you want to buy it at a... Yeah! Guildmaster said, I put it at a 20% markup, and Guildmaster says, that seems fair enough. <laughs> Which means... Reset says, thank you so much. Glee! I sold golden scales for 30,500 picks. Ah, oh, yeah, alright, that's... That is really helpful towards the... That, uh... Payment deadline of 80,000. Reset. Welcome. Looking for something special? Okay, Alouette is back. Perhaps this time we will actually have something for her. Yes. She says, I'll lower myself to buying something from you. A hat. I am sure I have hats. Hat. And I will sell her the slightly fancier hat. It still probably won't be fancy enough for her tastes, but it's a hat. Reset. You want this, right? Alouette. You actually have it. Will wonders never cease? Alright. Rich girl be rich. I am always going to at least try to ask for the 30% markup. Yes. Alouette. 
Well, oh fine, I accept. Not too bad for a bite. <laughs> she can afford it, so I'm gonna... And I know it, so I'm gonna mark stuff up for her. Reset. Thanks! Please come again! Yay! I sold Cloth Hat for 1,040 picks. Alright. Okay, so there's something going on in the town square. That's a good enough excuse to go into town because I have been wanting to pick up stuff at the market. It says, Ah, it's such a nice day today. Bright sun, blue skies, white clouds, happy people. And a collapsed Louis. Uh -huh. Wait. Er, wait. A co Louis. Louis, are you okay? Aww. Louis. Orange. Mush. Rooms. Thought if I ate one, I'd get bigger. Argle. Uh, oh no. no. Pro tip. Most mushrooms that look like the Mario mushrooms are super poisonous. Reset. But wait, Louie, where are you going? Tear. This is why you investigate whether a type of mushroom is poisonous before you eat it. Reset. But I thought all of the mushrooms around here were safe. Tear. Meaning you have already checked, I imagine. Reset. Well, maybe. <laughs> oh no, don't. Don't. Look, anyone watching this, you should probably- you may already know this, but do not eat strange mushrooms you find in the wild and aren't sure what they are. Mushrooms are delicious, but they can be so da- like, mushrooms that are edible are delicious, but they can be so dangerous. There are so many types of mushrooms that are, like, so inedible. Alright, heading over to the market. Let's, uh... Oh, 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 that's not a thing. I was thinking, what happens if I went to if I needed to sell? And... Oh, I have this treasure I was thinking of. Oh gosh, the selling price is way lower than the price I could get by selling it in my shop. So emergency selling only, or stuff that's just really old crap. Uh, I did want to get one of those for um, the. The muffler, I can turn it into something fancy. I think I have the ingredients for doing a fusion thing. And I'm gonna buy old mufflers are really cheap, so I'm gonna buy some extras just for having stuff on hand when people ask for specific things. Hmm. I will buy maybe one more pair of sandals because I definitely get asked for uh, shoes sometimes. That's only worth it if I can sell it for more than that. I can't always guarantee I'll sell it. I am kind of low on books. I was thinking that before, but now I actually have the money to get some. So... Oh, in fact, a popular cookbook. It exhorts the readers to live dangerously, go on, cook with poison mushrooms. Oh no, the thing I was just saying. Well, I'm gonna get it anyway. Jordan's Lament, a bittersweet love story about Jordan, an ordinary man, modeled after a man who became a king. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna buy Booms of the World, because that seems like a good thing to sell, and also Jordan's Lament, and then I will try to sell some books. Oh! Medicines! I, I don't remember that being up before, but maybe it wasn't, I just didn't notice. Theramin, a famous mineral supplement with few known side effects, increases max HP. Yes, please, for dungeon adventuring. Hmm. Alright, I'm uh, kind of low on necklaces, but I have at least one, and I'm, I don't want to spend too much more money, but like buying at least one extra of. Oh, man. Hmm. I keep wanting to get a ring, but nobody really asked for them in the shop, so it would really just be for adventuring purposes, and, like, I've been doing okay without so far, and I am definitely concerned about funds, so I think I'll call that good. And I'm gonna go back to the merchant skill, and... Oh yeah, I also forgot. 
I should buy things that are down in price while they're down in price. So I'm also going to buy some food items. It's actually good to have extra candy on hand for a couple of reasons. So buy some candy. What's the most expensive items here? Um, I guess the beef bowl and the watermelon are the things that sell for the most. So maybe buy a couple of each. That's future investments, really. Uh, I don't know if I can really afford future investments when I need to make... Oh gosh, now I, I'm back up to needing to make like 63,000? Over here, there was someone who came in. Uh, so first of all, I need to get the fancy lance for... Um, Nagi when she comes to pick up weapons. And then I need a fancy bracelet to give to the person who is going to buy a fancy bracelet who is going to buy bracelets for me. Maybe another one of these ones. Um, and I think I already have a steel... I actually have already have two steel swords, so I don't think I need any more. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing pretty good on swords, so they are low, but I'm not going to worry about buying them. Oh, man. All right. Is that... I, I'm pretty sure I already kind of checked through everything this guy has for sale, and I didn't have as much money, but it should be fine. All right, what can I use? Wait, I thought I was just missing a muffler. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. It's just that the other two happened to be at the top when I was able to make them. I have two things I can make. Ooh, exciting. All right, so let's make, let's fuse a fancy hat. Sam's hat plus eight. I, I guess by Sam, they probably mean Uncle Sam since that's definitely modeled off an American flag, but. Plus eight hat, that's impressive. I'm gonna hold on to that for adventure, I think. Oh, if I got a warrior's helm, I could immediately make whatever this helm is. Uh, let's make a fancy cape. Romantics cape! A cape with a daring, pleasing, vine-like -like pattern. Just looking at it inspires longing in the heart. Uh, the Sam's hat was a massive hat that will fill you with patriotic fervor. Some people consider it a bit tacky, though. I just realized that there was flavor text that I should have read. Um, the other things that I- in fact, I'll go read the flavor text for the other things I did through Fusion. Uh, Gilded Sword. Intricately gilded to intimidate foes. The edge might not be quite as sharp as the pommel, though. <laughs> right, because it's got kind of a fancy pommel. Uh, survival Knife. Made for surviving in the wilds. Cuts rope, food, crocodiles, and throats with equal ease. Oh my. Well, I was planning on getting one of those to charm at some point, so... Oh, what would I need for... Oh, I don't have whatever is needed for the fancy spear, so... Can't sell that to Nagi if I don't have know what's missing to make it. Alright, is so there anything else where I'm just missing, like, an item that I can easily buy? Uh, well, Warrior's Helm, let's buy that one for damn it. sells it. And now I should be able to make that fancy helm. Fused a, I have fused a knight's helm, or warrior's helm, into a knight's helm, which uh, is a serious business helmet for a serious business warrior, admired for its practicality and toughness. Alright. Uh, uh, eventually, I will have to get more water crystals. So. Some other stuff. Let's see. I'm guessing everything that's like a slightly brighter white is I know what the items are. So I maybe want to collect more honey. Uh, I could use more bat wings. Oh, I've sold all my back scratchers. I need a new one. Um, so I did collect the fur balls. Uh, so, alright. Insect trap, honey, and. Let's see. Also, ooh, if I got like one more water troop, I could make a fancy shield for it. I don't remember that. Alright, I'm gonna call that good for now. Alright. I think I've done everything.
everything I wanted to do in town. Alright, I think I didn't have any orders until tomorrow, but it's just always good. Okay, so Nagi is going to be getting coming back for weapons, I, so I need to not sell any of the fancy spears. Some random person is going to be coming for two bracelets when I open tomorrow. I can check those things tomorrow. So I think I'm going to do... I'm going to finish out today. And, oh gosh, uh, where am I at? With... Okay, I've still got a, a, a few days before the very high amount payment is due. So I think it is fine to focus on other things. So <laughs> <today. laughs> focus, focus. I don't want to sell the gilded soul gold. Price is low, but I can maybe sell some of the other stuff I've used. I'm gonna put a fancy book up front. Um, yeah, alright, that seems fine for now. I don't need to sell a cloth room. I'm sure I've got fancier things I can put in there. Uh, or at least I was thinking that I did, but now I'm like less sure. Um, hmm. Oh, I could try to sell that romantics cape. That would really help me out. Um, let's see that goes for me. I feel a little bad for only putting pricey items in the shop window, but I got stuff to sell. No, well, actually, I guess I could uh, tear boots out of the way. Switch out the books. And put one of the slightly less expensive ones. And actually, you know, in some ways I really like the idea of having the, the book I just put in the front window is supposed to be like a catalog about the town of the town so that's actually a cool thing to put in the window i think hey. let's put up the booze of the world and for sale um, I'm the the too, I think. If I, but only if i think i have something better to put there i didn't want to sell the hat but like oh I, yeah it doesn't even go for that much money so i think it's fine to not it might sell the knight's helm, though. Alright. Store opening time! I think I'm gonna finish out the day and then call the stream. Like, I've, I found that a rest here I can, I can go pretty long, but I... Yeah, right, so that said, I am gonna finish out today, so this period of, sell of shopping and then whatever I decide to do at night, and then I will probably call things after that so let's go for another round of of exciting buying and selling reset welcome old man my daughter-in-law asked me to pick up this the romantics cape eh i like to imagine the daughter-in-law going and like cosplaying with the romantics cape that's that's definitely my head Okay, this is a fancy item that goes for a lot of money, so I don't want to start it too high, just because I've found that that can run into problems. So, let's try it there. Ah, old man bought it at an 18% markup. Well, that'll do, I suppose. Reset. Thanks, please come again. Awesome, so I just recouped all of, all of what I just spent in- almost all of what I just spent in town. Good start, good start. Reset. I sold Romantic's Cape for 17,800 picks. Nice. Reset. Welcome. If you need anything, just ask. Woman. Could I possibly get you to buy this off of me? She is trying to sell me candy, and candy prices are down, so I'm gonna offer no. Ah, uh, woman says no, that price isn't right. That's fair. I was going awfully low. Let's, let's go for 50%. Woman says, all right, I can't Reset. Thanks, please come again. Yay, I got candy for 150 picks. Reset. Hey there. Girl, this is a present for my brother. She is asking for Le Ponce, which is, if I recall correctly, the uh, manual about the town. Or not manual, it's like a... It's like a guidebook is what it sounded like. Alright, uh, let's start at 20%, just 
just because the little girl demographic doesn't tend to be able to afford as much. In fact, girls like it that much? Um, I, that's, that makes me worry when they respond like that, so... Uh, this is pretty low, but they still might refuse it. But I want to make at least some money off it, so I'm gonna try it. Oh, good. That's a relief. There have definitely been times with the little girl demographic where I have been like, alright, how about 20%? They're like, oh, no way, that's way too expensive for me. And then I've been like, 10%? And they say no. And then I've been like, 2% markup? And they've been like, no. And I think at the time I might have had, like, a bad reputation. Like, I, I think you can have different reputation with the different demographic types, maybe? This is just me guessing. I haven't really looked it up. So... So now I'm in the habit of erring on the side of caution with the little girl demographic for, like, downcharging them. Welcome, man. You interested in buying this? Sure, I'll buy a beef bowl while it's... Ah. Uh, I'm gonna go for 30% of base price? Maybe in the lower end of 30%? Yeah, man. Alright, it may not be much, but here. I mean, what do you... Food is marked down right now, so I'm gonna go low. I think that's not unfair, so... Reset. Thanks! Please come again! Yay! I scored beef bowls for 690 picks. Reset. Welcome! If you need anything, just ask. Woman, do you have a hat? Okay, so I wasn't gonna sell... The Uncle Sam hat, but if she's specifically asking for a hat, and I can guarantee a sale. Oh, on the other hand, it's plus eight because the ingredients I used were a lot of pluses, which means it actually probably is worth holding on to to equip for an adventurer. Because I imagine the plus eight is probably gonna affect the stats. So, yeah, we'll stick with a cloth hat. Women, this is just what I meant. Alright, let's go for the standard 25%. Woman. Won't you sell it for just a little bit less? Alright, 20%? I'll even go all the way down to 18%. Woman, this was good shopping. Excellent, excellent. Thanks, please come again. B, I sold cloth hat for 950 pips. Welcome. Oh, it's Charm. Charm. Not bad, not bad at all. How much? Oh shoot, I, I didn't notice I still had food out. Or I, I was gonna take all my food down, but I forgot, so... Oh, she wants to buy it from me when it's cheap, eh? I'll try it at the normal base price. Charm. Mm, can't you give me a little less for it? <laughs> I want to be sad, but I also want Charm to like me, so I'm gonna painfully downprice it, but... Uh, to be fair, I picked up some of this for you in Dungeons, so... Uh... Dang it. Charm says no deal. Catch you later. Oh, I shouldn't have had food out at all. Oh, now Charm's gonna be mad at me. Oh, I like Charm. It's fine, it's fine. I can make up for it. I'm sure she will come back and, like, that won't be enough to, like, drive her away for good. She'll come back and I can offer her better deals on things. Reset. Welcome! Looking for something special? And of course, Arma also wants food that I did not take up. You know, that's on me. I should have remembered to take the food off the shelves if it, while it was going for cheap prices. And I will try... 60% of this price? And Arma bought it. Awesome. Oh no, she was selling! Okay, so going down was fine, and in fact, I offered her a really good deal. And that's fine, though, because that was the whole point. She didn't have money before, so from a roleplay perspective, that still was a perfectly reasonable choice. Reset. Yay! I got beef bowl for 1,400 pips. I was just feeling overly sensitive, so... Alright, news. The price of shields has decreased. The price of swords has normalized. Beware of fire on dry days. Good advice, news. Alright, yeah, I was feeling overly sensitive because I had forgotten that I had left food out for my... Well, it was at going for the So, let's maybe move one of these 
books to the front. Well, I worry about this book. Go for this book. Oh, oh, I can put a gilded sword up because now that they are. I'm gonna hold on to one so I can sell it to Louie, hopefully, but. Which actually also means that I can totally sell one of the other ones. Because I'll start bringing the uh, gilded sword, because I assume the gilded sword will be higher stats. Um, I gotta get a better lance before. Nagi comes back, but for now that should be fine. Um, what else do I want to put out? Uh, oh no, I'm holding on to that because it's going to come by. There's nothing that's currently up priced, unfortunately. So. Uh, put out the other book, yeah. Hmm. Let's put out. You know, I'm holding on to these things, but like, I don't even have the adventurers for them yet. People don't usually ask for specific weapons unless they are the associated adventurer that uses that weapon, so... I'm still holding on to the, the dagger because I think we can recruit charm soon, but... The bow, certainly, I'm not too worried about dropping. Okay, the cloth grove. I know I just took the cloth grove down, but it goes for okay amount. I really want someone to buy that vase. Uh, let's actually maybe trade the statue out for something of a different flavor. Uh, I definitely want the statue out because it's a thing that I can theoretically sell for a lot, but I don't have any food out while food is still marked down. But I want something that's maybe a little uh, lower. Um, uh, sorry, I'm maybe overthinking this, but oh gosh, no shields because they're down. But... Yeah, let's put up an iron armor. That'll that'll be good enough. Oh wait, I haven't checked in town yet. And no events. That's fine. Uh, I mean, I suppose Charm would probably not want to give us her adventure card when the last interaction we had. She did not like the deal we tried to offer. Oh uh, well. Alright. I know I said I was going to try to get to the end of this day, but I think it is okay to leave a day period to leave in the middle of a day period, actually, and I've hit about my limit of... I like I like Receteer a lot, I like streaming it a lot, and I can often go a little bit longer than some other games, but I think I'm about done for today. So thank you so much to anyone who is watching now and anyone who is comes back and watches later. I appreciate you all so, so much. Um, if you do watch this stream and you liked watching me do it, consider following me and maybe watching future streams. I'd super appreciate it. Um, as you may have seen from the stream, I'm pretty interactive. I like when people chat with me. I'm very responsive. So um, if that's a plus, that's certainly a thing to bear in mind. Um, my next stream after today is going to be on Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, and that'll be, um, I can't remember exactly what part, I think part four of my playthrough of Cinderella Phenomenon, where I'm playing through Rod's Root and I'm on chapter five. Uh, you can always watch the previous streams if you want to catch up with the story, um, th either through my Twitch channel through, or through my YouTube channel under the same name, which is also like linked in my Twitch profile. Um, yeah, uh, I think that about does it for my little self-promo outro. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Anyone who is watching this live, or whoever watches me live, or, is wa who, or even if you're watching this after the fact, anyone who ever watches me, I appreciate you so, so, so much. Thank you. Bye!